Smart 1 was a Swedish designed European Space Agency satellite that orbited around the Moon. It was launched on September 27, 2003, at 2314 Coordinated Universal Time from the Guiana Space Center in Kourou, French Guiana. Smart 1 stands for Small Missions for Advanced Research in Technology 1. On September 3, 2006, 542 coordinated universal time, Smart 1 was deliberately crashed into the moon's surface, ending its mission. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Spacecraft design. Smart 1 was about 1 meter across, 3.3 feet, and lightweight in comparison to other probes. Its launch mass was 367 kilograms or 809 pounds, of which 287 kilograms 633 pounds was non-propellant. It was propelled by a solar-powered Hall effect thruster Snecma PPS using xenon propellant, of which there was 82 kilograms 50 liters by volume at a pressure of 150 bars at launch. The thrusters used an electrostatic field to ionize the xenon and accelerate the ions to a high speed. This ion engine setup achieved a specific impulse of 16.1 kN s per kilogram 1640 seconds, more than three times the maximum for chemical rockets. Therefore, one kilogram of propellant 1 350th to 1 300th of the total mass of the spacecraft produced a delta V of about 45 meters per second. The electric propulsion subsystem had a weight of 29 kilograms with a peak power consumption of 1,200 watts. SMART-1 is the first in the program of ESA's Small Missions for Advanced Research and Technology. The solar arrays made 1,190 W available for powering the thruster, giving a nominal thrust of 68 mN, hence an acceleration of 0.2 mm per square second or 0.7 m per second per hour i.e., just under 0.00002 g of acceleration. As with all ion engine powered craft, orbital maneuvers were not carried out in short bursts but very gradually. The particular trajectory taken by SMART 1 to the Moon required thrusting for about one third to one half of every orbit. When spiraling away from the Earth, thrusting was done on the perigee part of the orbit. At the end of the mission, the thruster had demonstrated the following capability Thruster operating time, 5000 h, Xenon throughput, 82 kg. Total impulse, 1.1 mns Total delta V, 3.9 km, SAS part of the European Space Agency's strategy to build very inexpensive and relatively small spaceships. The total cost of SMART-1 was a relatively small 110 million euros about 170 million US dollars. SMART-1 was designed and developed by the Swedish Space Corporation on behalf of ESA. Assembly of the spacecraft was carried out by Saab Space in Linköping. Tests of the spacecraft were directed by Swedish Space Corporation and executed by Saab Space. The project manager at ESA was Giuseppe Rocca and the project manager at the Swedish Space Corporation was Peter Rathsman. The principal project scientist was Bernard Foing. Topic: Instruments. Topic: Amy The Advanced Moon Micro Imager Experiment was a miniature color camera for lunar imaging. The CCD camera with three filters of 750, 900 and 950 nanometers was able to take images with an average pixel resolution of 80 meters, about 260 feet. The camera weighed 2.1 kilograms, about 4.5 pounds, and had a power consumption of 9 watts. Topic: DCIXS The demonstration of a compact X-ray spectrometer was an X-ray telescope for the identification of chemical elements on the lunar surface. It detected the X-ray fluorescence XRF of crystal compounds created through the interaction of the electron shell with the solar wind particles to measure the abundance of the three main components, magnesium, silicon and aluminium. The detection of iron, calcium and titanium depended on the solar activity. The detection range for X-rays was 0.5 to 10 keV. The spectrometer and XSM described below together weighed 5.2 kg and had a power consumption of 18 watts. <laughs> XSM 
The X-ray solar monitor studied the solar variability to complement DCIXS measurements. Topic Sir The SMART-1 infrared spectrometer was an infrared spectrometer for the identification of mineral spectra of olivine and pyroxene. It detected wavelengths from 0.93 to 2.4 micrometers with 256 channels. The package weighed 2.3 kilograms and had a power consumption of 4.1 watts. Topic EPDP The electric propulsion diagnostic package was to acquire data on the new propulsion system on SMART-1. The package weighed 0.8 kg and had a power consumption of 1.8 watts. Topic SPEDE The spacecraft potential, electron and dust experiment. The experiment weighed 0.8 kg and had a power consumption of 1.8 watts. Its function was to measure the properties and density of the plasma around the spacecraft, either as a Langmuir probe or as an electric field probe. SPEDE observed the emission of the spacecraft's ion engine and the wake the moon leaves to the solar wind. Unlike most other instruments that have to be shut down to prevent damage, SPEDE could keep measuring inside radiation belts and in solar storms, such as the Halloween Solar Storms, 2003. It was built by Finnish Meteorological Institute and its name was intentionally chosen so that its acronym is the same as the nickname of Speed Pisanen, famous Finnish movie actor, movie producer and inventor. The algorithms developed for SPEDE were later used in the ESA lander Philae. Topic Kate Ka Band TT and C Telemetry, Tracking and Control Experiment. The experiment weighed 6.2 kg and had a power consumption of 26 watts. Topic Flight Smart 1 was launched September 27, 2003 together with INSAT 3E and EBIRD 1, by an Ariane 5 rocket from the Guiana Space Center in French Guiana. After 42 minutes it was released into a geostationary transfer orbit of 7,035 times 42,223 km. From there it used its solar electric primary propulsion SEP to gradually spiral out during 13 months. The orbit can be seen up to October 26, 2004 at spaceref.com, when the orbit was 179,718 times 305,214 km. On that date, after the 289th engine pulse, the SEP had accumulated a total on time of nearly 3,648 hours out of a total flight time of 8,000 hours, hence a little less than half of its total mission. It consumed about 58.8 kg of xenon and produced a delta V of 2,737 m per second 46.5 m per second per kilogram xenon, 0.75 m per second per hour on time. It was powered on again on November 15 for a planned burn of 4.5 days to enter fully into lunar orbit. It took until February 2005 using the electric thruster to decelerate into the final orbit 300 to 3,000 km above the Moon's surface. The end of mission performance demonstrated by the propulsion system is stated above. After its last perigee on November 2, on November 11, 2004 it passed through the L1 Lagrangian point and into the area dominated by the Moon's gravitational influence, and at 1748 UT on November 15 passed the first perisaline of its lunar orbit. The osculating orbit on that date was 6,704 times 53,208 km, with an orbital period of 129 hours, although the actual orbit was accomplished in only 89 hours. This illustrates the significant impact that the engine burns have on the orbit and marks the meaning of the osculating orbit, which is the orbit that would be traveled by the spacecraft if at that instant all perturbations, including thrust, would cease. ESA announced on February 15, 2005, the endorsement of a proposal to extend the mission of SMART-1 by one year until August 2006. This date was later shifted to September 3, 2006, to enable scientific observations from Earth. Topic Lunar Impact Smart 1 impacted the Moon's surface as planned, on September 3, 2006 at 5 hours 42 minutes and 22 seconds Coordinated Universal Time, ending its mission. Moving at approximately 2,000 meters per second 4,500 miles per hour, Smart 1 created an impact visible with ground telescopes from Earth. It is hoped that not only will this provide some data simulating a meteor impact, but also that it might expose materials in the ground, like water ice, to spectroscopic analysis.
ESA originally estimated that impact occurred at 34.4 degrees south 46.2 degrees west, minus 34.4, minus 46.2. In 2017, the impact site was identified from Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter data at 34.262 degrees south 46.193 degrees west, minus 34.262, minus 46.193. At the time of impact, the Moon was visible in North and South America, and places in the Pacific Ocean, but not Europe, Africa, or Western Asia. This project has generated data and know-how that will be used for other missions, such as the ESA's BepiColombo mission to Mercury. <laughs> Important events and discoveries September 27, 2003, SMART-1 launched from the European spaceport in Kourou by an Ariane 5 launcher. June 17, 2004, SMART-1 took a test image of Earth with the camera that would later be used for moon close-up pictures. It shows parts of Europe and Africa. It was taken on May 21 with the AMI camera. November 2, 2004, last perigee of Earth orbit. November 15, 2004, first paraloon of lunar orbit. January 15, 2005, calcium detected in Mare Crisium. January 26, 2005, first close-up pictures of the lunar surface sent back. February 27, 2005, reached final orbit around the Moon with an orbital period of about five hours. April 15, 2005, the search for PELS begins. September 3, 2006, mission ends with a planned crash into the Moon during orbit number 2890. See also List of artificial objects on the Moon References General Kadish V., Kreslovsky M., Shkorodov U., Gerasimenko S., Panay P., Chevrol S., Josset J. L., Bovivra S., Almeida M., Foing B. 2007. Photometric characterization of selected lunar sites by SMART-1 AMI data. Lunar Planetary Science, 38, Abstract 1535, 1. External links Official website ESA SMART-1 Scientific Website SMART-1 Mission Profile by NASA's Solar System Exploration Observation of the Impact of SMART-1 SMART-1 on Serbian Science Portal Viva Physica SMART-1, Europe at the Moon